Aloha friends, it's Robert Selig. Today's video is about repairing little scratches on your foil using this low halogen marker pen. A guy named Ruben on our Wingfield group here on Oahu posted this on WhatsApp and we all uh, ordered it. So they got so many orders that they thought it was a scam. Today I'm actually trying this for the first time to repair some of these scratches on my foil, the front wing and the tail wing. And basically if you're foiling here in Hawaii, in the waves, um, you're going to scratch your foil at some point. It's really hard to avoid scratching your foil unless you stay in the deep water all the time and never catch any waves. So it's pretty much unavoidable. And you know, like it doesn't really have a huge effect on performance. It's not, it's very subtle. So I don't think it's, it has a big effect on how well the foil performs if there's a few scratches on it. But of course, um, for performance, if you're pushing the limits, push, trying to go as fast as you can and so on. It's nice to have a perfectly smooth foil. So this marker pen is a little bit like a crayon. It's like thick uh, crayon type of pen. And um, so it, it kind of has um, the thickness that kind of fills in the, the scratches. So um, I'm just gonna apply some to all the spots that are kind of white and scratched up looking. And, uh, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go over it after it dries. I'm gonna go over it with some um, wet sandpaper, like uh, fine wet sandpaper, like 1500 or 2000 grit wet sandpaper. But let's fill in all these little white spots here. This is the first time I'm trying this out, but um, so far I can say it goes on really easy. Um, it just kind of rubs on like a crayon and seems to like fill these um, little scratches pretty well. And then uh, hopefully it just, all I have to do is kind of sand it smooth afterwards. And I'll have a nice smooth foil. It's also nice that it's black because that of course matches the black carbon of my axis foil here. And then you can twist it just to um, push it up more. Uh, of course, it also comes in different colors. And down below I'll have a link to um, that Ruben provided. I uh, also have a special promo code from Durable Supply Company. Uh, they are offering 10% off, I believe, for anyone using that code. if it's a good idea to get it on your finger it's probably really hard to get off but um, I'm gonna let this dry for a while I did apply a little bit on the other side first so um, let that dry a little bit and then I did all the scratches on the bottom which was most most of the scratches and now I'm gonna let it dry and then sand it with some wet sandpaper so this stuff dries pretty quickly um, after looks like a few minutes it's already kind of dry to the touch and I noticed in some of these deeper gouges um, I still want to fill it in a little bit more so I'm gonna add a little bit more to these some some of these deeper scratches okay so I waited about 10 minutes and now it's dry to the touch um, yeah dried pretty quickly and it also dried on my finger. I couldn't really get it off. I probably have to use uh, acetone or something to get it off. So I'm going to wet sand it. I only have 400 grit wet sand paper. Ruben recommended using 1500 or 2000 grit, like so much finer grit than this one. But I'm going to try it with 400. It's going to be smoother than it was before, regardless of the finish. It will probably be like a little bit of a sander finish, but that's okay with for me. So, but I'm going to apply a little bit of water to the sandpaper and to the foil and then just buff it out a little bit and smooth it out.
basically was wet sand off all the high spots. Basically, I wet sanded off all the paint that was not in the cracks. So, and I was worried that as I'm sanding it off, it would just take off all the paint I put on there. But um, it actually stayed in the cracks where it's supposed to fill. So I'm pleasantly surprised how well this worked. Um, it seems to be a pretty good repair. You know, with the 600 grit, it does have a little bit of a um, sanded finish, but I, it's way better than it was before. So I think it's going to work pretty well. And I'm going to give it a go and see if it, if it makes a difference performance wise, I'm sure it'll be better. So pretty happy with this uh, pen. So definitely can recommend it. It's a good one. But yeah, it's a pretty simple fix. You can try that at home. Check down below for the link for the pen. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Aloha. See you on the water.